A violent case of mail theft here in Central Texas. Imagine this mail carriers robbed and assaulted. And now two men face federal charges. KXN's Brianna Hollis joins us now in the studio with more on this case. Bri. So according to the Department of Justice, two suspects are involved. 22 year old Cameron Hamilton from St. Louis and 26 year old Jonathan Ranhell from right here in Austin. According to court documents, the two allegedly robbed two mail carriers in Round Rock on September 30th. De the Department of Justice also says Ron Hell assaulted multiple mail carriers in Austin and Georgetown in the days prior at each time. Guys, he demanded the postal employees give him the master key that gets the postal service into all mailboxes on the route. If convicted, they each face up to 10 years in prison as well as $250,000 for oh each goodness. town. Wow. And we know that you've been looking into nationwide trends, Brianna. So what are those assaults like? So according to the U.S. Postal Service, robberies like this are increasing all across the country. We have some data to show you. More than 400 postal workers were robbed on the job last year. And in the first half of this year alone, we've already hit 305 robberies. Mail theft is also up. USPS reported 38,500 thefts from the agency's blue mailboxes last year and more than 25,000 in the first half of this year. They are trying to do something to address this, though. Back in May, they announced a rollout of new plans that include replacing some of those manual locks with electric locks so those master keys don't mean as much to thieves. All right, well, thank you for that extra perspective, Brianna. And going in depth, there are several ways you can protect yourself from mail theft. According to the United States Postal Inspection Service, you should contact the sender as soon as possible if you don't receive your mail on time. Be careful about what you send as well. Don't risk sending cash by mail. And when shipping packages, you can use the hold for pickup option and the recipients can collect the package at their local post office. Now, when mailing something important, you might want to consider requesting a signature confirmation for the intended recipient and always pick up your letters and packages as soon as you're available so that they're not out there for an extended period of time. The second day in the trial of the